Well, it's Friday, it's the Ides of February, and the Hamilton Steelhawks are at home to take on the Dundas Real McCoys tonight. The keepers of the Cord Cottage getting the start for Dundas is Anthony Marshall, who's an 0-5 record and posting a goals against average of 6.32. Colin Dunn getting the start for Hamilton. He comes in with a record of 7-1 and, and a 4.73 goals against average. Uh, if you didn't hear, last week Daniel Sweden flipped the puck over the glass and is currently under suspension. So the backup goalie on the Steelhawks bench is Tyler Lewis, wearing blue pads. And I don't think he's seen any game action, but we're underway here. Not much will change in who plays who in the playoffs, but the Steelhawks are playing for home ice, and we're underway here at the Dave. It's going to be Dundas that starts with the puck, and Volpe fires it in. They know these lively boards here in Hamilton. And you can always get a weird bounce in front. Hadar gets the first shot and goal. They go around the net and almost jammed it in. Back to the point. Back to Brewer. Brewer in the corner with that early chance going on. Now back to the point to Volpe and Mangos will flip it in on goal. Dunn makes the save. Comes back out to the point to Mangos. Shot. Puck is loose and gets hacked into the corner. Dundas coming out all of fire here. Deflected pass and it goes out to center. Would like to say hello to Iptasam, Amron, and baby Aiden who are watching this evening way up in the Vaughn area. Hope you're enjoying the action and thanks for tuning in. Well, Giorgio, how was your week? Thumbs up. Giorgio does what Giorgio wants. Just like Rick Springfield. <laughs> Just like Rick Springfield. Ratchuk plays it up to center where Zanette gets the puck and he'll bring it in for Hamilton. Zanette with a shot and Marshall steers his first shot aside. Got Mike Dyer up in the booth here tonight. He's going to give us all the counts and all the numbers. I like having a shot total. We're getting real professional up here, Rob. Alcock almost got around his man, but the puck goes all the way down the ice and we'll have an icing call here. As we're just past the first minute, no score here at the Dave. So the face-off will come back into the Dundas zone to the blocker side of Marshall. Carnavalli will take the draw. He's up against Nathan Longprey. Carnavalli wins it cleanly, gets it back to the point. Peckham will flip it on goal, gets deflected by Longprey, and just goes wide of the net. White steers the puck around, keeps it there, now banks it off behind the boards. Where Alcock plays it there over on the far side to Mangos. Lead pass through the center. If you're looking at that Dundas bench, it's looking pretty thin. So that, pay attention to that as the game wears on tonight. That's not a lot of players. It's almost as bad as my beer league. Right in front, and it's steered aside by Marshall. Kept in, and McGregor rolls it in on goal, but Carnavalli's there in the corner, and he's muscled off the puck by Brewer, but Hamilton gets it back. McGregor at the point. Kept in by Pereira, and Zanette just pokes it in, and it's able to be cleared to center by Dundas. Now Pereira, right along the blue line, and back for Tyler Shiplow, who we haven't seen much of this year at the Dave, but he's in tonight. Pereira leads it up for Thorne. Thorne just misses it, and it stays at the blue line, and Pereira will push it down low. It comes in front, knocked away by Volpe. Now to the line where Atkinson plays it at center and leads it to Brewer. Brewer dumps it into the corner, giving chase to Shiplow back there, and it's in the Zamboni entrance area where Pereira plays a backhander around, and Hamilton clears the zone to center. This is Thorne bringing it in over the line. Thorne tries to get around man, but runs into a sea of white McCoy's jerseys like a brick wall. No further progress. Here comes Darren Hadar into the slot. Save, rebound, just goes over top of the net. Now Sullivan with a backhander. Dundas with the better of chances here in the early going. They keep the pressure on. Now it goes behind the net where Hamilton picks up the puck. Gets it into the corner. Atkinson leaving it back for Hadar. And now this is Andre DeVoe. I walked in the rink with him. Man, he's tall. Thorne over to Ling. Ling and DeVoe having excellent chemistry last week. Look out. This is Long Prey. He's going in alone. Stop by Dunn. No, sir. He shuts the door on a breakaway. Well, I don't know you're listening, but if the game is, in fact, also being watched by, by Mike's wife, Tammy. Hello, Tammy. I hear you're a little under the weather. I hope you're feeling better soon. 
And I heard you like the call of the good whiskey. Thanks for listening. Well, I guess you need a drill down there as Tessarola doesn't like where the net is all set up. Now it's all set up. He's looking good. It's Dean Akari. I thought they said Dean Carey. Dean Akari being the linesman. He hadn't arrived by the time I got in there. Saved by Dunn. Boy, it feels like just pure music. It's either hockey or music. You get one of two choices when Giorgio's spinning. We're still trying to figure out what's going on with the arena sound. We're not getting the kind of volume we like. The kind of volume that's only available here. At 91.1, the Fusion. That's not a real station. I'll tell you something funny after this, Giorgio. Peckham has it go past him. McNeil plays it up for Long Prey. Long Prey goes over to the far side, flips it in front, hoping for a deflection, doesn't. And it's Peckham who gets one outlet pass to Cameron. And Cameron finds Rinaldi, and Rinaldi flips it in. Salt giving chase, but Dundas takes over. Omar Enifati seeing his first action in the Dave this season. Long prey. Long shot and Dundas will change. Expect to see a lot of that with their bench as lean as it is. Pereira. Long pass is intercepted by Mangos and Mangos turns it back for Enifati. Enifati back to Mangos and Hamilton gives chase. Zanette steals the puck, gets it in the corner for Carnavalli in front, intercepted by Anifati, who's been out there a while, and he'll flip it, just gets past Alcock, and Jeff White will fire it in. Dan Brewer giving chase, puck comes loose in front, and Colin Dunn taking no chances there. Oh, a little, getting a little bit of the VH out. I'm always open to the Van Halen, Giorgio. I got 1984 in a record store for two bucks last week. Jeff White flips it on and another nice save by Dunn who was in position to capture that one. <laughs> and sticking with the 1984 theme, it's Bruce, the boss, Springsteen. I love the tunes. I like parts of tunes. <laughs> they remind me of the whole tune. Zanette fires one in. Carnavalli giving chase. Zanette comes up with the puck, fires a shot. Marshall watches it go wide, but Hamilton has the puck before Dundas gets it to center. Ratchuk gets the turnover there. Now back to center. Carnavalli turning around. Comes with the puck and tries a long lead pass to McGregor. Here's Ratchuk. Hamilton coming in with speed. Zanette gets it in front. Marshall makes the save. Puck is loose. And Zanette has it go through a season of McCoys, but he controls on the corner. Now McGregor. Controlling down low. McGregor brings it with a backhand up to the front to Ratchuk. It's knocked off the stick by Brewer. He's got a head of steam going the other way. Brewer trying to hack it in. Now looking around, trying to get it in front. Brewer shoots. Saved by Dunn. Another chance for the McCoys. Wearing white here tonight. Hamilton wearing their black jerseys at home. Sullivan over the line. Drops it to Ling. Ling looking for options. Backhand in front. And that was Sullivan getting the wedge out on that one and air mailing it. Now DeVoe has another chance. He gets it over to Sullivan this time. Sullivan going down low to Ling. Ling looking to center it, goes through everybody and down the ice, so icing is waved off. Ratchuk behind the net. Oh, we got Ling and the goaltender having discussions. Uh, the officials have separated them. It looks like it's just Ling and Volpe. Referee Pete Caustic saying going right at him. And Ling stirring the pot yet again. Pete, what is it? We'll find out. But both are going off for unsportsmanlike. Let's say unsportsmanlike. Does it really matter? Oh, that's Mike's wife. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> no 
No, I don't. But hello, Louise, and thanks for watching. 1347. Yeah, Lois. <laughs> that's not Louise, that's Lois. That's okay. Well, the penalties are offsetting and they have yet to post them. So once and if they do, Cameron tries to come in front. We'll give more information there. Right in front, Cameron fanned on the shot and it goes right into the corner. Now Cameron gets it back to the point. Big shot by Rinaldi, deflected, just goes wide, and Volpe has it, but he leaves it there for Brewer. Brewer flips it up to Longpre, and Longpre on the backhander will gingerly bring it out, but it's a turnover, and almost intercepted by Cameron there, who was looking to go the other way. Over the line, Hadar into the slot, they score! one nothing, and Dundas is on the board. I Over the line, Zanette has it. High shot goes wide. And into the corner. Now back to the line. Who else is in the lineup? It wasn't. It was Hadar. Dundas goal scored by number 20, Dan Brewer. Assist by number 26, Darren Hadar. Time of the goal, 12.55. Off the boards it goes, Dundas leads 1-0 with 12-12 to go in the first period. Shiplow takes it behind the net. Shiplow brings it out, has it hacked by McNeil, but it's intercepted by Pereira and given to McGregor. Goes past Mangos. Dundas collapsing very well in front of their own net. Zanette behind the, looking to make a play and that's White. Jeff White with the puck, gets deflected, this is Pereira. Nice pass to McGregor. McGregor in over the line. Far side pass does not get through. And Dundas is on the turnover. This is McNeil bringing it in over the line. He's got Brewer with him. McNeil on an angle looking to backhand it in front and it just goes wide. They come around the front of the net. It goes airborne and now side of the net. Dundas picks up the puck again. They try to shovel it in front, but it's Sullivan there finally clearing it for Hamilton. Sullivan makes one move and gets out of the zone nicely. Nice lead pass for Thorne. Stefan Thorne into Cameron. Cameron, the backhander, is ever so gingerly and easily handled by Anthony Marshall. So somebody posted this thing on, sorry about that. Somebody had posted online, when every time he walks by a gas price, he teases his girlfriend but makes it a radio station so he's, and makes it about a city in Ontario. So Kitchener's only jazz station is 102.1. The smooth. Anyway, it's a very funny piece. I started following the guy. Very amusing. Long prey gets into the slot, goes around the net. Hadar backhand gets done all, got across. And he was in position, but the puck didn't go in. Now the puck comes out. And it's at the blue line there where Thorne takes his man. And DeVoe does a little back pass to get it to Ratchuk. Now to Thorne, but an intercepted turnover to Long prey, looking for Hadar again. Thorne has the puck, tries a backhander, gets it to the blue line. Thorne over center. Now tries another move. Thorne gets in there, in the slot. Hamilton right in front. They had Marshall sprawling. But some good defense that Dundas has been showing thus far. Centering attempt to Cameron. DeVoe now behind the net. To Cameron. 
Cameron trying to get into the slot, goes to the point to Peckham. Peckham shoots, that just goes wide. Salt tries to take it on the backhander, but it's long prey with the puck. And he gets the puck to the line, not out. DeVoe fakes the slap shot, moves, gets it into the corner. It's hacked away by Anafati, but back at the point. Long shot, easily handled and snared by Marshall. 10.06 to go first period. 1-0 in favor of the Dundas Real McCoys. The implications in this one big. Hamilton kind of controlling their own destiny. If they win tonight and also beat Whitby on Monday, well then, there's a shot and a nice save by Marshall. If they get home ice for the playoffs. However, if Whitby wins their game tomorrow night against these same Dundas McCoys, then it puts a lot of pressure and makes Monday very interesting both ways. But it depends also what happens tonight. Hamilton needs to win. Deflected shot just goes wide of the net. Carnivale controlling behind the net. Carnivale goes into the corner and looking to get it back in front. Now hacked away, it gets past Rinaldi. And White will turn around and get it over to Mangos. Mangos through center. Mangos with a far side pass to White. Tarasuk has the puck now for Hamilton. And he flips it out to center. Turned over, and this is Phil Brewer. He'll make one move and get into the corner. Peckham coming at him. A big puff of snow down in that corner. Mangos in the slot, fires it just high and wide and goes out of play. 9-1-1 to go in the first period, and Dundas leading one to nothing. Well, we talked about Monday. Monday, of course, being a holiday here in Ontario. It is family day. And at 2 o'clock, the Steelhawks will be taking on the Whitby Dunlops. There will also be a skate with the Steelhawks before the game. But game time gets going at 2 o'clock. Here at the Dave, the Dave Andrechuk Mountain Arena, if you want to bring the family down to a hockey game, talk to me. But I'm going to enjoy the weekend, Rob. A whole lot of nothing. I might put on some zep. I might get the lead out. I might put on the Zeppelin this weekend, but I will store it safely. Back to the point it goes. Mangos controlling there now to the long prey. Long prey tries a long shot and deflected. That may have hit the post or that might have been the stick, but it fooled Dunn and has it changed direction at the last minute. However, it's still 1-0 in favor of the Dundas McCoys. In the slot, a fired shot. Nice save by Marshall. He's got that glove very active tonight. It is snaring a lot. Not a lot of hard shots on him. They seem to be playing for the rebounds. And you got to wonder if Hamilton can get going, whether the complexion of this game will change. Again, the short bench of Dundas going to play a factor down the stretch. To the line, not out. Pereira makes one nice move. Tries to give it to McGregor, but this is Longpray picking it up. Bringing it over the blue line, drop it to Hadar. Hadar over to Longpray. Nice save by Dunn who has stopped Long Prey at point blank range. Long Prey seems to be everywhere tonight. It's a Long Prey running. Maybe you better cue up the Doobie Brothers. Long Prey right? <laughs> running. Anyway, McKeel brings it in over the line, tries to find the slot, can't, goes into the corner. And McNeil turned aside like Victor Newman turned aside Ryan McNeil back in the 90s. That is a reference few will get. DeVoe in the slot, high and out of play. Let's see if I can re-cue this and find out what happened in those penalties. There we go. Yep. So those penalties earlier Earlier penalties to number 43, David Ling, and number 11, Trevor Atkinson, offsetting misconducts for 10 minutes apiece. 
at 6.15. Nothing like a late announcement, right? Hey, looking forward to when they get out? <laughs> right in front, Thorne back at her. Oh, what a glove save by Marshall. He robbed him. He robbed Thorne, who took it to the backhander, and there's that glove again. Marshall standing very high. And he was on his backside to make that save, and he'll have that face off on the glove side after that beauty. Ratchuk takes it off the point, low shot, deflected, hit him right in the mask. Hit Marshall right in the mask. Into the corner, Rinaldi gets it. Salt tries to center it in front, but Enifati's there. And he'll fire it around the boards to the line, not out. Ratchuk keeps it in, goes back of the net, but in the corner, Volpe will go to get it. He'll get it to the line, and that goes by Brewer and out. Phil Brewer with the puck, throws it over to Enifati, who brings it out over center. Long dump in. Sullivan gives chase. A lively bounce off the boards, goes in Hamilton's favor, and a rolling puck comes to Cameron. Cameron brings it in over the line. Brewer intercepts, and now Alcock, out of the box, a lead pass. Sorry, that's Atkinson in the box. Brewer, now back at the point, a lead pass. Chance for Rinaldi, goes off his stick. He's trying to get to it, but a little bit out of gas there as Mangos comes back to get it and flips it over to Alcock. Now back in the slot area, deflected right on goal. But Marshall saw that. Boy, both these teams skating a little bit uh, into the slot. Rinaldi, robbed by Marshall. Puck is loose, rebound. Oh, fired over the top of the net by Salt. And this one goes all the way down the ice, right on Dunn, so he'll have to play it. Full sail change for Dundas. Lead pass to McGregor. He's got that speed, but it's intercepted by Haydar. Into the corner it goes now, back in front to Thorne, shoots. Another great save by Marshall. He's been sharp. Haydar brings it out to center. Now over the line. Far side pass, Dundas coming on here. Long prey fires that one over top of the net with a wrister. And it goes into the corner. Peckham to the line and out. Now Peckham dumps it into the corner and Zanette going in there and giving chase. Firing it off the boards. This is Long Prey. Long Prey leads it to center, makes a couple of nice moves, and he'll find another one. He gains the zone and a long shot. Nice save by Dunn. Into the corner and a wraparound. White in the slot and the Rangos robbed by Dunn, who got across and made the save. Dundas putting up more great shots in this one. White fires this one back in. Hamilton goes in to get it and try to clear it out of their zone. To the line and out, this is DeVoe. He's got a couple of strides and brings it into center. A nice drop pass for Salt. Salt throws it to the front of the net, but it's stopped by Anafati before he could get there. Carnivali going behind the net. Now controlling at the half boards, looking for someone to pass to. Now it comes back to Carnivali in the slot, but Dundas collapsing well in front of their net as they have been this entire first period. And a lead pass as referee Dean Akari got in the way there and has to dance out of the way. Now this is Andre DeVoe bringing it in over the line. DeVoe, Salt, right in front! Drop pass does not get through. And this is going to be McNeil bringing it over center and he's got Brewer with him. Deflected pass, intercepted by DeVoe, and he flips it just past Carnivale. 4.20 to go, first period, 1-0 in favor of the Dundas Real McCoys. Into the corner it goes, Dunn comes out to play it. Tries to wind it around the boards, but it's intercepted by Dust Dundas. But now Hamilton has the puck. Cameron brings it in over the blue line, in the slot to Thorne, and that goes off the foot of Volpe. And as they say in Tommy Boy, bees, bees. Ratchuk over the line, shoots, puck is loose, and another nice save by Marshall. Volpe looking no worse for the wear. Brewer takes it behind the net, he's given by Rinaldi. Thorne at the line, he's got a man in front. His shot goes wide, it goes behind the net, and ends up resting atop it, and we'll have a face off in the Dundas zone. So Ling and Atkinson out of the box now, and they'll go back to their benches. Dundas probably appreciating that more with the short bench. We'll have a face off to the glove side of Marshall. McGregor takes the draw, goes back to the point, and just skips back Tarasuk. But Peckham back there covering up as he was the lone man back. 
Cameron has it bounce off the boards. Goes by the player's entrance on this side. Picked up by Zanette. Zanette will fire it in, giving chase. Marshall plays it back there, but it's intercepted by McGregor. The speedy McGregor tips it to the line, but it goes out. Now Peckham has to double back, and he's got Alcock all over him. Draped in Alcock, as you might say. Peckham gets taken out there. Here comes Salt over the line. Salt turns around and looks for a slot area to pass to. Gets it over on the far side where Shiplow makes a nice little dancing move. He jigs it into the corner. They center it, but it's intercepted there by Mangos, who's been back there the entire time tonight, doing a lot of coverage on D. For Dundas, back of the net is Shiplow. Shiplow comes in front of his net. Zanette will try another move, and he'll throw it over to Tarasuk. Tarasuk brings it in over the line. He's got Thorne with him. Tarasuk, over on the far side, skips over to Zosik. And now Hadar has it and gets it over to Brewer. Brewer going the other way. They're going both ways. Now into the slot. Shiplow has it for Hamilton. He'll bring it out to center, and DeVoe makes one move. Now gains the zone. DeVoe fires it, and that's a save by Marshall. And with 2.17 to go, it is 1-0 still in favor of the Dundas Real McCoys. Volpe takes the draw and goes back behind the net. Brewer brings it out over, and this is Brewer again. Another shot, another save by Dunn, and covered. So it turns out Giorgio is going to be the one to get the let out. Face off to the glove side of Dunn. Just over two minutes to go in the opening period. Dundas leading 1-0. Atkinson shot deflected. That goes back of the net. And Rinaldi will be there to pick it up to Hamilton. He'll get it to the line and out. And now it's poked ahead by Cameron, who brings it over the line. He's got Salt with him. Cameron shoots, and a nice blocker saved by Marshall. Dundas has the puck and gets it out. The real McCoys come to center. This is Brewer, makes one move. Difficult angle shot. Now trying to get it back to the point. Volpe playing with it. Now deflected and goes behind the net. They try and figure out what's going on. Goes back to the point. Volpe flips it in and goes into the corner. Sullivan has it. Rinaldi playing it in the corner. And now back to Sullivan. Bodies flying everywhere. Cameron leads it up to Ratchuk. Ratchuk brings it in over the line. Ratchuk moves his way into the slot area. Ratchuk to Zanette. Fires gets deflected. Just goes wide. Now into the corner. Zanette playing with it. They've got some men cherry picking. This is what Dunn's calling. Last minute of play in the first period. Atkinson brings it in over the line and fires it back behind the net. Dunn gives a cover and we'll have 54 seconds in the opening period. A close one here at the Dave in the opening period. What do you got for shots? Okay, thank you. Volpe to the line. Mangos makes a play and then puts it into the corner. Zanette leads it up to Carnavalli. Carnavalli brings it in over the line and now plays it into the corner. Carnavalli now on the boards where Longpre gets it. And this is going to be Mangos leading it out to Hadar. Hadar brings it in over the line. He's got a man with him. He gets it over to Longpre. Back across the front of the net. And he was checked severely by there. No chance for McNeil on that play. A long dump in goes all the way for icing. McNeil going to the net. A centering play. But nothing available. And pump up the jam they shall. the blocker side of Dunn. Longprey will take the draw against Carnavalli. This is Peckham with the puck. Peckham makes one nice move, then dances towards center, but now Zanette has it. 14 seconds to go in the period, and Zanette dumps it in, gives chase, gets a puck in front of the net, it's loose! And Zanette tries to get it in, but couldn't. Carnavalli in the corner. Now to Zanette. Scores! An impossible angle from Zanette! 
And Hamilton ties it with 3.8 seconds left in the period. Hawks goal, scored by number nine, Paul Zanet. Assist by number 27, Taylor Carnavalli. Time of the goal, 1956 of the first period. Shots in that first period. Dundas 14, Hamilton 14. Fans, make sure you visit the Lone Star. In the community room, located on the upper level behind the benches where you can pick up an ice cold beer. Second period coming up. Fans, welcome back for the second period. Your Hamilton Steelhawks. I think the officials are laughing. Oh, that's what it's all about, having fun. So here we go with a 1-1 second period. About to get underway and they'll be going the other way. Hamilton wearing the black, Dundas wearing the white. Mango starts with the puck and a lead pass to Brewer in a near collision there with Zanette. They're checking to actually see whether they're each other is all right. Good sportsmanship there. Lead it up to center, Carnavalli with the puck he's got, Zanette streaking, great save by Marshall. Carnavalli fires a shot that goes wide. Peckham keeps the puck in and gets it to Carnavalli. He skates behind the net with it, now comes in front, hacked away. Zanette gets it back to the point. And something's going on in front of the net. It looks like the net's been knocked off. That same post that experienced a dislocation earlier in the first period. Siri had just transcribed everything I said. Back to the point it goes. Shot by Peckham. Lead pass. Now Mangos has the puck, gets it to McNeil. McNeil goes cross ice, but it gets deflected away, and Peckham comes up with the puck. His first pass is to DeVoe. DeVoe brings it in over the line, but it gets taken away before he even gets there. And now it's dumped into the corner where McNeil gives chase. Kyle McNeil gets it for Dundas. Looking back at the point, Volpe with a shot. Nice blocker saved by Dunn, who had to fight that off through a crowd. Goes back behind the net, it's picked up by Brewer. Brewer comes in front, another save by Dunn. Now goes back behind the net and Thorne battles away for it there and gets it away from Hadar. And Hamilton will take it to center. They come across three on two with Ling. Ling slowly works his way into the slot. Ling shoots, deflected, goes high and wide. Puck comes bouncing back in front where DeVoe has it and DeVoe takes it to the side. Now spins it around to Thorne. Thorne gets a backhander to Ratchuk. Over on that side to Sullivan. Sullivan now in the slot to Thorne. Into the slot and it goes and now it's taken away by Brewer who brings it to center. Brewer brings it in over the line. Goes off the skate of Alcock and into the corner and that's where Thorne picks it up for Hamilton. Alcock giving chase. Thorne draped in Alcock. Sullivan brings it to Rinaldi. Now over the line, Salt shoots. That goes just high and wide. Intercepted by White and he dumps it to center where Sullivan takes over. Rinaldi through center and brings it in over the line. Now chipped and it goes the other way. Ratchuk back in his zone to get it on this fresh ice. 17.40 to go. Second period, 1-1 the score. And a late goal by Zanette got Hamilton back in it. It was Brewer scoring in the first. Cameron fires one at the blocker. Now the puck is loose, but picked up by Longpre in the corner. And Longpre will take it for a spin, bank it off the boards where White has it. White has options. He has Alcock and Mangos with him, but White will shoot it himself, and it's kicked aside by Dunn. Into the slot, Longpre deflected right in front. Dunn pushes his pads and the pillows to the side, and Hamilton takes over on the center, but it goes right back for Longpre, who goes cross ice, and on a change, Atkinson very patiently waits to touch it so that there would be no penalty. A smart heads-up play there by Trevor Atkinson. 
And it's going to be Giorgio turning us loose. I don't think Mike... I think if Mike Reno turns anything loose these days, it's probably a disc. Behind the net it goes, Shiplo brings it to the blue line. Now leaves it to McGregor. McGregor with a shot, deflected, goes into the corner. Now cross ice, but intercepted by Brewer. And now intercepted by Carnavalli, who gets it in front. Whoa. This is the net with a backhander into the glove of Marsh. Cool. Now it goes into the corner. This is Brewer going to try and double back, and he gives it back to Anafati. Carnavalli cruising in again. He just keeps diving on that pulk like a vulture. Shiplo back to Brewer, and Volpe tries a long lead pass. He finds Atkinson on the far side. Atkinson tries a difficult angle shot and an easy save for Dunn. But there's those lively bounces, and he nearly wrapped it around. They hammer away at the boards. Volpe keeps it. Oh, he does not keep it in. And Dina Kari on the blue line there saying, yes, sir, that did come out. So we'll have a face-off outside the Hamilton zone. Well, these two teams have met seven times this season, and Hamilton leads four to three. The last game was two weeks ago in here where Hamilton won 5-4, coming back with three unanswered third period goals, and Tyler Wood, or sorry, Woodesey getting the uh, winner in the third period. Overall, this series, these two teams, Hamilton has 30 goals, Dundas with 27. I guess you can add one apiece to them there, so make it 31 and 28 if you count this game. Tarasuk now behind the net. He's trying to break out the, make a breakout play for Hamilton, and it's led up to the line. Long shot, just goes wide of the net. Mangos. Iptasam telling me again she's stoked. I'm glad for you guys. Volpe slipping on a logo. Giving the Mangos a shot, and I do believe that Dunn got the blocker on that. Volpe plays it off Atkinson's skate. At center, they dump it in. Longprey tries a cross ice pass. Goes past Volpe again. Finally got those bees out of the out of the skates in the first period on a nice shot block. Oh, those do sting. So with both benches here on the opposite side in the second period, the long change of factor, and Mangos. 1-1. Long shot save. Off the glass, Cameron plays it there and goes to Rinaldi. Rinaldi fires one, gets deflected, and Marshall had the pad there and he makes a save. Who's the uh, Farrell character? Sean Farrell. Sean Farrell, the score is one to one with 14.28 to go in the second period. Cameron takes the draw, doesn't quite win it, gets it to Mangos. Mangos flies it around to McNeil, but it's kept in by Sullivan. Shot deflected, just goes in front of the net. There were two Steelhawks there, neither able to bang it in. Cameron tries to get it in front of Rinaldi. He does. Rinaldi spins, shoots, again going for the deflection. That goes through the crease area, and Hadar gets it out. But Sullivan doubles back on this side and gets it back to Rinaldi. Rinaldi's going to try and bring it in again. Mangos has the puck. Fires it off the boards. Brewer goes around the net. Centers it right in front. Nice save off of McNeil. And the puck just goes to the open side where Dunn was sprawling. And he'll lean over to pick up his stick. No further damage. And a fatty spinning around. Brewer has to double back in his own zone. He's got the speedy McGregor on him. McGregor hooks him, and that's going to draw a penalty. To center it goes. Long lead pass. Hadar waiting for it. Hadar got some room. Shoots. Nice save by Dunn. But this is going to be a penalty to Brian McGregor for tripping. Hook. Yep. It's trying to come back in. I can hear it. Like it wants to make it. Hamilton penalty to number 17, Brian McGregor. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 13-27. 
Mangos has it at the point, and this is going to be the Dundas power play. The Dundas power play working at 12% this season with six goals, four. Hamilton's penalty killing is at 87.9%. Dundas in there putting the pressure on. White going back of the net, getting it back to the point to Mangos. Cross ice pass to Anifati. His pass is deflected and goes into the corner where Longpre banks it off the boards. White has it in the corner for Dundas. White looking for options. Gets it back to Mangos. Mangos at the point, rather stationary. Gets it back to White. White goes behind the net. This is Alcock. Alcock spinning with it. Behind the net for Longpre. Longpre over on that side to White. White shoots, deflected, goes wide. Mangos plays it in the corner. Now back of the net for Longpre. Longpre tries to get in front, he does! And White took a shot, but that hit a skate before getting to the net. 57 seconds to go on the power play, and Zanette brings it to center, and he's gonna rag the puck a bin, dump it in right on Marshall, who steals it into the corner. Zanette goes back there, gives it to Thorne. Thorne will kill some more time in that Dundas zone and try to hack it off a stick. Dundas brings it to center. They're on the power play for another 38 seconds. Longpre brings it in over the line. Changes being made, the puck came out there, and that one will have a face-off outside the Hamilton zone. 32 seconds to go in the power play. For Dundas, 11.59 to go in the second period, and we got a 1-1 score. Yeah. Thorne brings the puck in for Hamilton, drops it to DeVoe. DeVoe, shooting, gets blocked by the skate of Mangos, and now he's the one with bees in his skates. Bees! DeVoe. The Kilty Bees, not the only one occupying this rink. DeVoe dumps it back in there for Tara Soup. Penalty now over as Peckham plays it in the corner. Lead pass to McGregor, who's got a full head of steam. McGregor brings it into the corner, drop pass for DeVoe. DeVoe spins, looks to get it back to Peckham, but it gets deflected away by Brewer. Peckham comes back in his own zone and will turn at the blue line. Peckham with a lead pass over on this side to Thorne. Thorne brings it in over the line. Ling, now trying to get it into the slot, does for Cameron, but Cameron backhands it to the point, and Hamilton will have to come out of the zone. Sullivan. Over on this side to Shiplow. Shiplow with a lead pass to Rinaldi. Rinaldi bringing over the line, a shot and a save. Puck is loose, rebound. Oh, and another great save by Marshall. Cut comes in front, they jam away at it, but Cameron couldn't put it in the open side. Now Sullivan pinching. Sullivan gets it in the slot. Rinaldi tries a backhander. He'll have to get it back to the point to Shiplow. Shiplow with a shot, side of the net. They work it there, Cameron centers it. Deflected away just by Brewer and Dundas. Takes the pressure off for now, puts it the other way. This is Hadar in the slot shot. Deflected, doesn't get to the net. Now they go the other way. This is Cameron bringing it to center to Ling. Ling brings it in over the line for Hamilton. Ling gets into the slot, shoots. Oh, he just missed on the far side. Now Peckham keeps it in. Hamilton putting pressure on here. Peckham with a shot, Marshall stops it. Peckham goes after the rebound, a wraparound. He jammed it in on the rebound. Oh. But the goal is off, and the net's off, and Peckham is so upset with himself because that was a goal that was going to be pure Peckham finesse. No goal as the net was dislocated. Which is another way of saying dislocated. We're almost at the halfway point of regulation. 10 minutes to go, 1-1 one, one the score. Hamilton and Dundas here at the Dave Andrichuk tonight. Once again, a reminder that Sunday is family day. You can bring the family down here at 2 p.m. on Monday. I said Sunday, didn't I? I meant Monday. It's a long weekend. White shooting, saved by Dunn, who makes sure there's no rebound. <laughs> I keep getting pictures of baby Aiden. I love it. Well, hello to Ibtisam, Emron, and Aiden. Watching at home. 
I'm a real professional. That's why I read text messages during my broadcast. Just over the stick of Tarasuk, and now it'll go the other way and just under Peckham Skate. Brewer on top of him, Peckham. Tarasuk with a backhander. And now led up to Carna Valley, but stopped in the neutral zone. Carna Valley with a lead pass goes over to the far side. McGregor at the blue line, turns and spins. And McGregor will get it back to the point. Long shot, deflected! And Marshall got that as there were two Steelhawks perched in front of that McCoy's net. Well, there is no official coach of the Steelhawks, but Brian is back there, and so is Ross Taylor. So your question, Huey Jennings. Um, the coaches are Ross and Brian tonight. There is no official. It was Brent Pope a couple weeks ago. The Pontiff. Back of the net, Ling looking to make some moves. He has that puck on a string. DeVoe at the point, fires a shot. Escapes the glove of Marshall and trickles into harmlessly into the corner. Dundas trying a long pass, misses the man, and that will go for icing. Well, Lenny Hilson saying, let's go Steelhawks. Thanks for tuning in, Lenny. This second period is brought to you by food. Food. It's good when you want to eat something. Use it for sustenance. Food. Mangos leads it out to center. Salt leaves it there for Thorn. But Dundas in offside and we'll have a stoppage in play. Tessarolo and Haydar are having a discussion. <laughs> and some of the Dundas faithful not too happy with Tessarolo's offside call. That's to Tessarolo, the call from the stands here at the Dave. Eight minutes to go, second period. So far, a pretty quiet period in the second period. Dundas collapsing very well in front of their net and controlling much of the play. Hamilton trying to get a turnover there. Dundas will bring it out. This is Brewer bringing it in. Far shot, saved by Dunn, rebound. Also stopped by Dunn, who had those pads down, and he'll hold it for a stoppage in play. Fans, make sure you visit the rink here on Monday. For Family Day, game time is at 2 p.m. against the Whitby Dunlops. Mangos at the point, deflects it, goes into the corner. Peckham hacks away at it to Salt and a long lead pass to Rinaldi. He's going in all alone. Rinaldi shoots, scores! Rinaldi gets the goal! And Hamilton takes a 2-1 lead. Steelhawks goal, scored by number 19, Josh Rinaldi. Assist by number 86, Cam Salt, and number 24, Theo Peckham. Time of the goal, 7.33. Another shot and another save by Marshall. We'll have a face-off in the Dundas zone. <laughs> Here's a trivia question. Zanette shooting gets deflected in front into the corner. And Jeff White brings it out to center. Brewer in front. Deflected just goes wide by Alcock. Another centering pass. Now back of the net. And that's where it'll be. 
for a face-off. So when the Stones in, I believe it was 1978, played at the Alma Combo on Spadina in Toronto, which is a, on Love You Live, a, a, a live album released by them, I believe earlier in the day they posted it as the name of the band being April Wine. Which was quickly uh, discovered, and the Stones played a famous gig at the old Toronto nightclub. I see the sign is actually back on Spadina now. Shiplow, a long pass through center and down where Simon Mangos has the puck. A lead pass to Jeff White, who flips it down and into the corner. Dunn watching that all the way. Peckham has the puck on the half boards. That's where the last goal started. Gets tipped ahead to Zanette. Zanette's got a bit of room, and he's got Carnavalli streaking. Carnavalli shoots, just missed. Zanette tries again, and it goes into the corner where Volpe picks it up. This is Alcock bringing it to center for Dundas and bringing it in over the line. Gets it to White. White with a long backhander, snared by Dunn, and 6.13 to go in the second period. 2-1 the score for Hamilton as Rinaldi, his breakaway goal, beat Marshall Blocker's side, and Hamilton takes a 2-1 lead. Sullivan leads the puck out for Hamilton and brings it to center. Deflected and then swatted back by Hadar. Longpre has it, a bit of a two-on-one with McNeil. Longpre to McNeil, taken away by Thorne. Nice defensive play to get back by Thorne. At the line, kept in, and DeVoe will have the puck at center. He'll fire it deep in for Hamilton, and they'll give chase. DeVoe and Ling together again. They were a great combo last week, creating a lot of scoring opportunities in the Whitby game. Hadar has the puck and gets it back to Volpe. Volpe. Anifati and Volpe like catch with it in their own zone and bring it out to center. McNeil turns, shoots, deflected high. Here's the rebound. That bounced, and Ling will hold it in the corner. Ling brings it out to the blue line. Now to center. Ling brings it into the zone. He'll try a shot. He fakes it, goes wide. Now drops it to Thorne, shoots. Saved by Marshall. Sullivan with the puck. Another big save by Marshall. A great blocker save there off the stick of Sullivan. Really nice save by Marshall there. He's been good. Wasn't, didn't have too many difficult ones in the first period. And the one that did beat him was from a very strange angle. But he's been solid in the second period as Hamilton's pressure has been better. A shot in is stopped by Brewer. Phil Brewer leads it through center. Now goes to the far side, Brewer shoots, scores! It's a 2-2 hockey game. <laughs> Dundas goal scored by number 19, Phil Brewer. Assist by number 20, Dan Brewer. Time of the goal, 15 minutes even. Cameron centers it, plays it off of Enifati, and that goes to the line and not out. Salt keeps it in, goes cross ice. Difficult shot by Tarasuk. Puck is loose, goes into the corner. Salt plays it there. Rinaldi back at the point, deflected, and that's a save by Marshall. Long lead pass for Phil Brewer has the team back in here. Dunn sweeping at it, comes into the slot. Oh, Atkinson has to go off his stick and then his second shot. Boy, did Dunn have to be sharp on that one. 4.19 to go, second period, 2-2 the score. Longpre takes the draw and wins it, and it's at Alcock in the corner. Carnavalli leaves it there for Ratchuk, and now Carnavalli has it and will lead it up to center. Bounces through. Turned over and fired back in for Dundas. Dunn out of the net to play it. Longpre tries to intercept, but Hamilton recovers. 
Pass in the slot area for Shiplo. A nice lead pass there for Zanette. Zanette dances through center, gets it over to McGregor. McGregor shoots, deflected, just doesn't get through. Now to the line. Nice job keeping it in there by Ratchuk. McGregor spins and tries a backhander. Behind the net for Carnavalli. He'll look to center it, but gets intercepted by Longprey in a backhand. Kept in by Ratchuk again. McGregor from St. David's, Ontario. Dumps it behind the net, comes right in front, and it's covered by Marshall. 3.28 to go, 2-2, second period. Both teams exchanging goals here. Ah, you're good on that, Rob. Rob checking the social media feed. Ling takes it and gives it to Sullivan. Sullivan takes it into the corner. Now gets it over to Thorne. Thorne trying to get it back to the point. Now spins around. Thorne plays it back, trying to center it. Does, but the puck comes loose. Now it's Ling. Ling gets it back to the point. Peckham fires a shot, gets a flex, it goes right through. Ling tries to get it in front again, they jam away at it. And that is Marshall covering up. Some very loud power clapping over by that Tim Horton sign. That is some professional grade A clapping. Ling to take the draw, he's in there. Sullivan wins it. Back of the net for Volpe. Volpe comes up with the puck. Brewer shoots it out of play. Clock! About five extra seconds ticked off there. Oh yeah. Clock! Hader gets it for Dundas. They bring it in over the line and Sullivan plays it all the way back for Enifati and now to Volpe. Back to Enifati. Enifati to Volpe again. Brewer leads it and spun back into the corner. Cameron goes cross ice and Hadar back to get it. Volpe picks up his stick. Dundas gets it to a recently besticked Volpe, who dumps it down the ice. This will go all the way, but Tessarola waves that off. So Peckham back to get it for Hamilton. Long lead pass for Cameron. Two minutes to go, second period. 2-2 the score. Salt brings it in over to Cameron. Cameron tries to move, doesn't get it. Sullivan dances into the corner with it. Now Sullivan centers it, puck is loose. Picked up now by Salt. Salt. Getting it to the front of the net. Sullivan has it again. Gets it to Cameron. Back header. He scores! Hamilton takes a 3-2 lead. goal. Scored by number 89, Brian Cameron. Assist by number 19, Josh Rinaldi, and number three, Dan Sullivan. Time of the goal, 18-21 of the second period. I better keep that microphone in the hand because it's almost the last minute. Uh, should I go for a little? Uh, I'll do the, uh, the French too, okay? Back to the line and out, all the way back where Anafati picks it out. Dernier minute on the second period, last minute to play in the second period. Zanette brings it in over the line. Zanette. Across the Carnivale. Now in the slot. Look out, Ratchuk spinning with it. Ratchuk, a backhander. Loose puck at the side for McGregor who couldn't jam it in. 
30 seconds to go the second period. Over the line is Longpray. Longpray takes it into the corner. Down the ice towards Anafati and back behind the goal. Mike, do you happen to know the shots? In that period? Thanks, Mike. Shots in that second period. 15 for Dundas, 20 for Hamilton. Overall, Dundas with 29 shots and Hamilton with 33. Fans, make sure you visit the Hawk's Nest in the community room, located on the upper level behind the benches, where you can pick up a nice, cold, very responsible beer. Fans, it's Friday. It's the Dave Andrichuk Mountain Arena. It's the third period. Welcome back for the third period. Your Hamilton Steelhawks. So third period about to get underway, and as Mike Dyer just pointed out, it's been a good game. The goaltending really outstanding in that second period. But it's 3-2 as Hamilton will carry the lead into the third period. Dundas with a short bench, though, tonight. We'll see if that plays into it. And the third period is underway. Volpe flips it out to the line, and that's intercepted by Ling. Ling brings it in. Ling shoots. Oh, and that's a hot shot with a big rebound. Ling couldn't poke it in with a pool cue. Goes into the corner. Marshall handled that hot one. Goes behind the net, and Thorne trying to come in front. He does. Thorne looking for someone to pass to. Oh, if DeVoe had been the other hand, that might have been a fired hard at the net. But McNeil comes up with it and gets it to Hadar. Hadar brings it in over the line to McNeil. McNeil takes it to the corner. It's taken off his stick by Sullivan. Played into the corner by Thorne. Thorne bats it around to Sullivan. Sullivan flips it over to Ratchuk. Ratchuk leads it up to center, and Ratchuk takes it right through that beautiful Steelhawks logo. Ratchuk shoots it and goes just wide of the net. Dundas brings it to the line and out. Taken away with I Cameron, who spins it back to DeVoe. DeVoe makes one nice move at the line, but it's intercepted, and White has it. Brings it to the blue line and out. White fires it back behind the net, and Dunn is going to make sure it doesn't come in front. As many have pointed out, these boards are very lively behind that Hamilton net. And the Dundas net, for that matter. Long prey in to take the draw against Cameron. Cameron, who's got the go-ahead goal late in the second period. Salt brings it over the line for Hamilton. Spun away in the slot area. They jockey for position, and it's Hamilton that gets the puck down low as Salt controls it. Now taken off his stick by Rinaldi. Rinaldi swoops in and takes it back to the line, fires a low shot wide. This will be Alcock taking the puck for Dundas and bringing it through center. Alcock. Flips it over to White. Now to Longpre. Low shot goes wide. White spins it around in the corner. Alcock to White. White looking to center it. Bounces off into the corner and Peckham will pick it up for Hamilton. Spins it back there for Tarasuk. Tarasuk takes it to the line and gives it to Cameron. Cameron takes it to center and makes one move. Gets through center. Spins over the blue line. Cameron with a shot and a nice save by Marshall. Longpre intercepts the puck, gets it to the line and out. Sullivan fresh on the ice from the Peckham change. He'll throw it over on that side to Shiplow, and Shiplow will dump it in. Speaking of Shiplow, Sting was at the basketball game on Monday, and he's doing a play in Toronto called The Last Ship. The Raptors were having trouble getting going. So I said, guys, come on. Sting's here. And when somebody traveled, I said, giant steps out, what you think? And Afadi dumps the puck in, winds it around the boards, and Shiplo. It's tough for my wife to sit next to me at these games. McGregor brings the puck in over the line, drops it to Salt, back to McGregor in the slot area, and that just misses. Sullivan turns around, brings it to center. 
Atkinson to McGregor, and now to Sullivan. Sullivan over to Shiplow. Shiplow will turn around, two and three. Numbers two and three, the number of Shiplow and the number of Sullivan. And maybe the number of people that are listening to me right now. Marshall plays it off to Zanette. Zanette makes a play at the net, but it's steered aside by Marshall. Atkinson goes back in the end. Volpe flips it up to center and up to Brewer. Brewer brings it in over the line, tries a shot, and has another move, goes through the crease and wide. Dan Brewer to Phil Brewer. Hacked away by Hamilton, and McGregor gets it out to Zanette. Zanette makes a nice move at center and will bring it in to the line. Long shot gets deflected. Zanette has the goal that opened the scoring for Hamilton. A centering play. Doesn't get to Thorne and it's batted away to Atkinson. In your own zone, you can do that. Peckham plays it back to DeVoe. But in the neutral zone or the offensive zone, if you try a hand pass like that, there will be blown dead. DeVoe makes a nice move. Comes in over the line. DeVoe looking for Thorne. Tries to get it there, doesn't. It's McNeil with the puck. Flips it, had a man streaking, that was Haydar, but this goes all the way down the ice. We'll have an icing call with 15.54 left, and the score being 3-2. You know, when I was at that uh, Raptors game, I did get a, uh, a message from Jason Dalio telling me that he was watching the game at home in his boxer shorts. And that is not information I needed, nor that I wanted, and I have to assume that Fran is some kind of a saint. <laughs> Hadar brings it in. Long shot, scores! Oh, what a wrister beats done on the blocker side, and it's a 3-3 hockey game. Hadar makes it a 3-3 game. And it gets quiet, even quieter, despite the sound system. At the Dave. <laughs> Top cheddar where they keep the good whiskey. I suppose I should trademark that. Over the line, Salt gets it to Cameron. Cameron shoots, nice save, rebound, scores! Cameron gets it on the rebound. And it's four to three. Dundas goal scored by number 26, Darren Hadar, unassisted. Time of the goal, 420. Goal. His second of the game, scored by number 89, Brian Cameron. Assist by number 86, Cam Salt. Time of the goal, 439 of the third period. Tarasuk brings it in. So 19 seconds after Dundas ties it, Hamilton regains the lead. It has been a good game. Cameron spinning. He's got Salt. Salt has to turn around and play the puck. He's got a man all over him and plays it in the corner. Gets it in front, but Rinaldi just watched it go by. Rinaldi also has a goal this evening, a breakaway goal in the second period. Mangos fakes the shot, gets it in the slot. They come right back in front. And perhaps Brewer should have shot there as Dunn was down. Carnivale now bringing it in a shot, saved by Marshall. Salt picks it up in the corner. Salt equaling the energy and getting it back to the point. Sullivan tries a shot. Volpe protecting himself there as the high shot came through. Carnivale spins around, brings it in over the line. Now it goes to McGregor. McGregor shoots. Big save by Marshall. Alcock has it. Goes on a far side pass there for Brewer. Dan Brewer brings it in. He's got a goal tonight. Now centering it. McGregor leads it up to Zanette. Zanette shooting. That just missed the top corner. Taylor Carnivale over on this side. Hmm? 
it went through. Mike saying that the puck went through. Really, went through the mesh. <laughs> Atkinson, save and covered up by Dunn. So Mike Dyer up here in the booth with a keen eye. Some people yelling down below, saying that that puck went in and the mesh moved. Boy, I can't wait to watch that one again. DeVoe gives it up to Thorne. Thorne over on that side, shot and a save off the stick of Shiplow. Marshall makes another. Thorne tries to go cross ice, keeps the puck in. Ling gets into the slot area. Ling, puck is loose, goes through the skates of DeVoe and into the corner. DeVoe tries to go into the slot. Thorne gets it to the slot. Thorne tries to move to DeVoe, he scores! Five to three, Hamilton. Hawks goal scored by number 34, Andre Bell Biv DeVoe. Assist by number seven, Stephen Thorne. Time of the goal, 7 12 of the third period. DeVoe did. It's gone straight to his legs. If you're ever listening to Greg Millen, it's funny how that'll do it for you. You get a goal and it goes right to your legs, I tell you. I think you'll see on this replay I'm right. Brewer gets it and goes into the now behind the net, tries to center it. Hamilton with the first two goal lead of this hockey game for either side. Ling flips it to center. That's a long pass that just skips over Rinaldi skates, but he's gonna get to the front of the net. Rinaldi scores! A backhander as Rinaldi is allowed to walk in front. And the short bench showing now. Eight oh three. Steel Hawks goal. His second of the game. Scored by number 19, Josh Rinaldi. Assist by number 43, David Ling. Time of the goal, 8.03 of the third period. Salt gets it in the slot, shoots. That goes high and out of play. Oh, and nearly hit that fan seated behind the net as it came off the, the wall. But everybody appears to be okay. One of those rare times a puck would come at anybody in this rink with the mesh surrounding. <laughs> Sullivan with a lead pass through. Rinaldi trying now to get the hat trick. Alcock getting behind the net. Well, we wondered if if the short bench would catch up with Dundas, and it looks like it has in this third period. Lead pass. Salt brings it in. Deflected. Full extension by Marshall. And he sheriffs that one away from the net. That's a verb now. Tarasuk brings it up to McGregor. McGregor with a shot. Over on this side to Zanette. Now McGregor. He's been all around the puck this evening. Zanette, this line getting opportunities. A nice steal by Mangos, who I think has been very good for Dundas tonight. He's been very in position, but here comes Carnivale. 
And he may have put himself offside. Fans can't get enough Steelhawks hockey? Well, this Family Day weekend on Monday at 2 p.m., the Steelhawks are taking on the Whitby Dunlops. Game time is 2 o'clock here at the Dave Anderchuk Mountain Arena this Monday, Monday, Monday. It's Daytona week, right? So I can get away with that? Yeah. Mangos brings it in over the line and dumps it into the corner. Peckham plays it off the boards and that gets out and down the ice. 10 minutes to go and Hamilton now leading six to three in this third period. Couple of big opportunities. Hamilton making the most of them here tonight. Back behind the net for Dunn. Tried to center it, comes in front. Long prey, trying to put it to the front of the net. That doesn't go anywhere. Ling turns around, leads it up to Shiplow. Shiplow cruises through. Now trying to poke it through, doesn't get through. As McNeil now chips it over on this side, and this is Long prey bringing it out over the line. He's got Hadar with him. Long prey looking to center it. And this will be Shiplow with a pass to Ling. Ling brings it in, looking for someone to give it to, can't quite. And Hamilton will now cruise back in their own zone as Sullivan has it. DeVoe with the puck at center. DeVoe back of the net for Ratchuk and Hamilton will regroup. Long lead pass, Beauty on the stick of Thorne who takes it on the backhand, brings it in over the line, Ling. Makes one move, fakes again, gets a shot. As he was going to the net, didn't quite finish that one off. Now Brewer tries to get it, and Rinaldi giving it. And it looks like a high sticking call. Is going to go to David Ling. Hamilton penalty to number 43, David Ling. Two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalty, 11-18 of the third period. Brewer brings it to center, and this is Alcock. Flipping it through, and it goes to center. Hamilton dumps it in. Marshall plays it off the boards. You know, no lead is safe in this league. And if Dundas were to get one here, collars would get a lot tighter around this rink. Volpe tries to center it. A backhand is thrown to Cameron, and the clearing attempt hits Tessarolo, the linesman, and costs the Steelhawks about 100 feet of ice. Volpe brings it in. Now Longpre gets it into the slot area, but it's taken off the stick by Ratchuk. And Ratchuk will flip it to the line, kept in by, and they score! Longpre from White. And it's six to four in favor of Hamilton. Ratchuk tried to flip it to center, and White intercepted it and gave it to a wide open Longpre. And he scored, standing at the side of the net. Dundas goal, scored by number 12, Nathan Longpre. Assist by number six, Jeff White. Time of the goal, 12.25 of the third period. Mangos shoots it back of the net. 6-4 game and Collars getting tighter. 7.09 left to go in the third period. McNeil turns and gives it to Hadar. Hadar brings it in over the line. Hadar fans on it once, and Zanet brings it to the line, and Hamilton attacking. McGregor tries to get it, but it's Carnevalli who gets it back. 
but it's a nice collapse there by Mangos, who's really been sound positionally tonight and breaking up a lot of plays just like that all game. Volpe brings it in over the line, shoots, goes to the corner. It was tied 3-3 at one point in this period on a nice shot by Hadar. Puck comes in front and Peckham steers it aside. Then Hamilton went for three unanswered. And Dundas getting one back right there. Ling gets around his man, tries to center the puck, but it's intercepted by Volpe, who leads it up to Hadar. Hadar brings it in over the line, works his way into the slot, gets it to Brewer. Brewer shoots. He just missed on the har side. Now Ling chases after the puck. Maybe it should be 7-4. to four. Nice shot by Ling and a nice save there. As Mike was telling me, that puck went right through the Nesh. He saw it move. Long shot off the blocker of Dunn. And he steers that out of the zone himself. And then adjusts, makes an adjustment to the blocker. There appears to be all right. Atkinson leads it into Brewer. Now Thorne has it. He'll fire it over on this side to DeVoe. DeVoe brings it in over the line. DeVoe shoots, save, loose puck. They score. Thorne bats in the rebound, and it's 7-4 Hamilton. Hawks goal scored by number seven, Stephen Thorne. Assist by number 34, Andre DeVoe. Time of the goal, 14-24 of the third period. So Hamilton gets their three-goal lead back. And Chance, who is comfortable, makes his way over to the Dundas bench. Did he just get here, Mike? <laughs> well, it is winter. Atkinson with a shot. Puck comes loose. Another shot. Brewer goes wide. Bounced right over the stick of Atkinson as it took one of those bounces off the backboards. Here comes Salt on an angle. Gets it in the slot. Oh, and that did not go in. Dundas goes the other way. Long prey. Chips it away into the corner is Rinaldi. Bats it away there. Now Longpre gets it to the side of the net and picked up by Zanette. 447 to go in the third period. Hamilton leading 7-4. <laughs> Zanette trying to get away from the stick of Atkinson. He does a button hook in the zone and looks for McGregor, who catches up. But now it's Brewer getting it to Zanette. And Brewer has the puck again to the other Brewer. And that's a two-pack clear right there. Peckham has the puck for Hamilton, brings it in over the line. Peckham gains the zone, moves into the slot. Peckham shoots, saved by Marshall. Puck is loose, and Marshall kicks it again to the front of his person and covers up there. Oh, he was staying in the dressing room? There was plenty of room on the bench all night. They have to dress two goaltenders. Peckham with a shot deflected by Carnavalli goes wide. <laughs> Seven to four, Hamilton. Four minutes to go in the third period. Zanette flips it through center. This is McGregor. Bringing it into the corner. Alcock clears the zone. No arm goes up there. Brewer shooting, missed the far side. White couldn't keep it in. And now Mangos controls it over. Mangos gets it to Alcock, back to Mangos. Mangos looking in the slot. Mangos carries it himself, hits Dunn, and Dunn pounces on the rebound. There'll be a face-off in the Hamilton zone.
Mango springs it in over the line, and Hadar plays it there, gets it in the slot. Long pray with the shot. Dunhousey has it, turns to the side, and releases it from its snare. It does sound like the sound system got a bit louder as the game wore on. I mean, once that hamster gets going, everything warms up. Long shot by Volpe, deflected in front. McNeil tried to bat at it twice, couldn't get in front. Tries again, another save by Dunn. McNeil with two good chances in front of that net. And it's going to be DeVoe bringing it to center. He finds Thorne. Thorne makes a move, shoots, just goes over the blocker side. Now bounces in front. And it's cleared down the ice. Shiplow makes another move. Thorne spins with it and dumps it in. Two twenty-nine to go. Third period. Hamilton leading seven to four. Hamilton controlling their own destiny if they win tonight and win on Monday. They'll secure home ice for the playoffs. Ling brings it in and tries a shot. That gets deflected. There is a rebound. Another shot. Marshall flashes the leather upwards and stopped the puck in the process. And he's not happy with the way Ling went at him. And Ling will get under your collar like that. He's known to do that. So Monday, 2 p.m. here at the Dave Andrichuk Mountain Arena on family day could be a very big game for home ice. You gonna be here, Giorgio? How about you, Rob? All right, I'm gonna be here. Hopefully we can get a lot of families out. And maybe the players can avoid those old German words. Brewer spins around. Now goes back into his own zone with a minute 48 to go. Now to the line and down the ice. Sullivan, backhander to the line, not out. Ratchuk clears it over to Salt. Nice pass to Cameron, he's got two tonight. Cameron, shooting, nice save by Marshall. That was definitely the Hattie shot. Minute 30 to go, Hamilton leading seven to four. They'll try and bring it in one last time. Rinaldi, he's also got true. Goes between the legs and Marshall covers up on that one. Buck 21 to go. In the third period. <laughs> Carnivale takes the draw, wins it back to Sullivan. Sullivan plays it on the half boards. And it's going to be Dundas coming out with the puck. Longprey brings it in over the line, tries to center it. Can't. Goes off the boards, and McGregor has it. And Hamilton will lead it out as Carnivale brings it in over the line. Carnivale takes it into the corner, tries to center it. Dernier minute on the troisième period, last minute of play in the third period. Alcock brings it in over the line, and Longprey. Longprey with a shot. Dunn had a little trouble with it, but was able to knock it down into his pads. <laughs> Thunderstruck coming on with 51 seconds left. Giorgio definitely wanting to keep this party going. Psyching us up for the wind down. White gets it to Mangos. He's been good tonight. DeVoe plays it into the corner. 44 seconds to go. Alcock plays it there. Long prey. Shot deflected. Saved by Dunn, and he hangs on with 34 seconds left. Do you know what the shots are, Mike? Thank you. I'm assuming Hamilton. All right. And the one that went through the net. <laughs> it did. Back behind the net they go, and Hamilton is going to win it here tonight. Setting the stage for Monday, which should be very interesting here at the Dave. Alcock 
One last chance for Dundas, but Hamilton will play the puck in their own zone and clear it out as Peckham backhands it to center. Hamilton just watching the puck as the final seconds tick down. Tarasuk has a look at the clock. He'll try a long shot that just goes wide, and Hamilton's going to win it. Final shots, Dundas 39, Hamilton 50. Fans, thanks for starting your weekend with us, and keep in mind that this Family Day Monday, February 18th at 2 p.m., the Hamilton Steelhawks will take on the Whitby Dunlops. Thanks all for coming, and drive home safely. And remember, if you can't be good, be careful.